On May 31st, a bunch of friends and I went to go see Shin Kamen Rider in an AMC theater in California, USA. To nearly loaded seats! Let's see what we all thought. And I just got done watching Shin Kamen Rider by Hideaki Anno. And I gotta say, as someone who's seen the TV show and read the manga, I was pretty impressed. Now there's some unique flares to this that you wouldn't find in your ready, regular old Kamen Rider series, but that's part of the fun. Obviously, this is a much darker take than the usual TV show. But of course, that's something that was found in the original 13 episodes and the manga by Shotaro Ichinomori, telling the story that he wanted to tell. What the heck you just watched in Common Writer? Or yeah, it's definitely feels like I, mean, no, no, I even have some context and it's actually like actually these action shoes. Like they put all of that into this movie, I can tell. I have to watch it feels it. weird by is today's standards, but, but so, it is what it is. So which cheese are we talking about? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me some specific scenes. Here's the thing. I feel like uh, I had to watch the other stuff again, but I feel like their fight scenes breathed a bit more. There weren't as many cuts. In the original series? Oh, I don't know anything. Like, of, in the okay. original versus, like, whatever. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more cuts and a lot more the fight, like, the combatants within the same picture, in the same frame. In this, uh, I don't know, it almost feels like a, a COVID fight, you know, so like... Yeah. Basically, once it started showing the pictures of the mom and the frames, I realized, oh, it's a human instrumentality thing. Got it! <laughs> so uh, that's the scene that stood out to you the most, would you say? I mean, that was the scene that made me figure out, oh, okay, that's the entire motivation. He just wants to collect everyone. He just wants a collective consciousness, except uh, instead of it for, instead of him doing it to be, with, in this case, his mom, he wanted to be the only one who didn't do it, which is like, okay, bro. It's like, yeah, but yeah, no orange juice in this one, though. Yeah, they just... Turn into they, they need, that was uh, from the original series. Uh, yeah. Just have like people walk around. Phone. Congratulations. Cool up and Congratulations. Uh, I, I like what they did with the final fight I sound is that they just cut out all the sound effects and music. So and just. <laughs> in typical anime where Tokusatsu fashion, I didn't know what was going on in the last fight. Right into it. Like Has that's just how it happened. That's just how it works. Like they evaporated because of yeah, sacrifice, I altruism. I don't know. Yeah. So oh, one, one, one negative that. comment. Too much altruism. I don't, I don't have a question about either. Uh, yeah, Takashi Hongo became Takashinji Hongo. He's a lot more emotional in this series, in the movie, than he was in the original series. Oh, so which is like, the, is like standard Kamen Rider? Which is Kamen Rider Prime? I don't mean the first, like the main one. Is it, this is like the origin story? Is he the second one? Is that like the main one? Or? Yeah, this is a retelling of the original story. So like... But with elements from both the manga and the Kamen original Rider TV show. Kamen Rider number two became like the Kamen Rider. Uh, so it's different in the TV show and the manga. Okay, fine. In the Fair TV enough. show, what happens is the original <laughs> actor broke his legs, yeah. so they had to like find a replacement quick. And they put it in the story too. In the story, it's like, oh yeah, Kamen Rider number one, he went to Europe to go fight the bad guys there. So it's like, oh yeah, here's a new guy. So it followed both, and then the manga followed. And then eventually the original actor came back, and it was like double riders, and they like, switch off. In the manga, Takashi Hongo gets like pretty much killed by like the evil riders. Yeah. And, but in the process, one of the evil riders is Ichimonji Hayato. So the riders ride it, so the riders kill the riders. You know, so, like, they kind of yeah. cut off yeah. the blood. Like, There's a lot of riders in the movie. Yeah, the riding riders. Yeah. The blood is a new thing. That yeah. that was not in the yeah, original a, show. Uh, your mother would be scared. Like your mother would, 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 would go, oh, first five minutes. There's also like all the bones and like, like there's no blood like after that. It's just like well, a little bit of spitting blood. But I like how they just spit through the mask. It was like they had those COVID masks that weren't really COVID masks, and they just have holes in them and you're just spitting through it. They kind of just went out like chumps. Yeah. Well, they got rider kicks, and what do you expect? No one the can stand the rider kick. kick. Normally, like in the episodes, they'd have like at least like one part, like in the beginning of the episode, they'd be like, ha, 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 I can overpower you, rider. And then the rider would have to have some character development, and then they get their butt kicked. <laughs> well, the show era, there wasn't that much character development. Actually, Scorpion was funny, though. The Scorpion girl, that was the funniest one. Just, even at the end. Uh, <laughs> like, she didn't even say it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> just like really dramatic. That is actually a gender-bent character. Who? 
the scorpion, the scorpion woman or scorpion og was actually scorpion man in the original series. Yeah, like next to no role. And the original series, he was actually like one of Takashi Hongo's original friends, which I think they. Did they put that in the wasp and the and the, and the girl, the friendship? Like, yeah. Point. So the girl has very small role in the manga and the original TV show. I mean, I mean the Lost Girl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ruriko. In the original, yeah, she was just like I meet up. I did like the wasp fight. The wasp fight was just like going from frame to frame, but all of those were like Spider Verse. <laughs> and all of them had all of the the I want to say these constructs, but were they called the Ogs? Like they all yeah, had the limited free will. Except for, I thought they said except for like the writer number two, but then they they over, but then it turns out he was brainwashed. I didn't understand. They were like he has free will, and then they were like, never mind, we're gonna save you and give you back your free will. And I'm like, does he have free will or not originally? So he has his personality, but he's still under the control of Shocker. Okay. But I'm also not sure if that's just my American perception. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh yes, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more like they have more. What sort? Of, they're using more visual effects in this one versus what would be in a regular. Because there was some CGI. I think it was a lot of the CGI was like. It's sometimes bad. bad. Like, there's one, like, example the X8 Ghost movie where two people are just running away from Pac Man. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. If it was. Intentionally bad, it's one thing, but if it wasn't intentionally bad, it's 2023. What's your excuse? Well, like, I'm, I'm assuming it's the same thing that, like, I think they want to describe actually. Stick to at least the original, like, yeah. from that little I think of Doctor Who in this regard because, like, some of the feel from the original. Yeah. So I think that's what. At least that's what I'm thinking. I, I watched Shin Ultraman. The CGI wasn't great in that either. I mean... I also don't know the general quality of CGI in Japanese movies. I don't watch Japanese movies. It's funny. They can make great game trailers and yeah. have amazing CGI there, but for whatever reason, when they try to put it in their live-action movies, they're still way behind America. All the same, though, I find a lot of their stories more interesting, so I can kind of weighs out. I mean, so it's not by do you see a single MCU quip in this movie? No. Our biggest laugh comes from a random backflip. Yeah. Oh, give me that. That random. The, the random backflip. It's like. Stop <laughs> you now. <laughs> it was just like it's a also the fact of like before the uh, fight with Ichigo and Nigo. Okay. Ichigo is the name of the first common rider, by the way. Yeah, Ichigo means number one. They don't ever bring that up. And Ichigo means number two. Oh, also the symbols on the helmets, the one, two, all that. I don't know. It looks even Galleon ish. Definitely. No, it doesn't look. It is. <laughs> it is. So, it is. And then when he when he introduced himself as Rider Zero, I'm just like. Oh, that's oh, why you said oh, that. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, you got it. Black. Kamen Rider Zero is an original character for this film. Oh, oh there is actually technically a Kamen Rider 3. But that's a different movie. <laughs> well, there's Completely there's Common Rider V3, and there's Common Rider Sango from, like, the Drive Racing movie. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know anything about this series. I just know that it's a rabbit hole. show was made mm-hmm. by the same guy who made it. And it was very obvious. And I think my movie. biggest complaint is the fight with, like, the uh, the Locust uh, writers. Oh, yeah. yeah was really Why in a pitch black tunnel? Because it's a reference to the manga where it had strong contrasts with the outlines and the white skeleton skull like eyes and the it's like it's silhouette fighting like cool. i can't see their silhouettes <laughs> well you, you see the eyes you see the eyes i, mean, I just don't understand that like Sweet. he's clearly capable of making whatever the hell equivalent of like rider number two level fighters and he sent like 20 at this guy six 20 this is pretend it's 20. no in the manga it's 13 but yeah. No effects, like just like they, they just like. Just but they, but <laughs> look, poor, poor. They posed epically. When you pose epically, don't you know how much power level you gain? <laughs> Fair enough. I kind of wonder how much of that is our expectations as Americans being used to American action films. I mean, it was still better than I don't know how much of the movie is a product of its culture. I mean, by lots of Alabama, Mexican, but in my American side, I'm saying that's pretty good. It's also the fact of like why they had most of the fighting on motorcycles. Because it's common rider. Okay, that one I understand. They, it's common They don't fight on the motorcycles. I mean, of course they do. The the they fought with the motorcycles. The motorcycles are the weapons, the shields, the guns, or everything. Look, look. This morning I watched like the old. Common Rider movie, Common Rider versus Ambassador Hell. All right, it's Evil Cockroach Man. 
I mean, they literally, they literally, literally with used the, the motorcycle as a rocket to destroy the throne or something. Yeah. Isn't that what they did? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they turned the motorcycles into missiles, missile motorcycles. Yeah, exactly. Missile motorcycles. But no, like, in that original movie, like, I can, I can appreciate this movie now because the at least the motorcycle fighting looks decent. In that one, the shocker grunts would just fall over for no reason and then explode. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I do think, though, that the movie leaves a little too heavily to the cheese. That's just what they do. That's just what comedy is. Yeah. So, as that, I think from what I've observed and what I've gathered from other people's reviews, that just kind of seems to be a common Western gripe about like Japanese yeah, action so. films and live, a- live action adaptations of anime. Uh-huh. Is that you have all of these elements that only work in anime yeah. because it's yeah. animated and absurd and all that. And then you try to create that pretty much word for word, shot for shot yeah. in live action and it just doesn't work. But here's yeah. the thing, anime got those tropes from Tokusatsu in the first place. Yeah. That does, but 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 that, that doesn't necessarily mean that like, but people thought do a vastly better job of it. It's the thing is people thought it worked back then so good that it went to the anime, but it's like uh, the director, he has like a challenge, right? He has to put his own vision in it as well as paying tribute to the yeah, manga I mean, and the TV show, difference. which had vastly different tones, and putting it all into one story, obviously putting his own twist yeah. on it. There were just some choices in the acting and the movement and the writing that were just, like... Yeah. like what, what are these like, choices? Like, maybe give, I'm just American, but that's not how I would Like, give me some examples. Give me some examples. Watching the guy get out of his throne really annoyed me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, okay. okay. I actually appreciated that. <laughs> because it was <laughs> melodramatic. It's because no, you need a little bit of melodrama in your life. It just showed the problem. It could have been dramatic and impactful without being just Without, weird. like, the... Yeah. No, the was, pompousness. Yeah. yeah. No, someone, the especially the that, they took that, <laughs> that so, like, did? and they tried way too hard to be anime. Question. Like, like, what does the rogue do? Dramatic. Uh, and, and he just gave him, like, power and just shit, bullshit like that. That part was funny. That part I could appreciate. But just no, watching him get out of his throne. The arrogance, yes. Yeah. See, no, it's not even just that. It's just you could have chosen a, a better way to do it as a doctor. <laughs> Oh, uh, instead of just doing the I think at that point yeah. they were trying yeah. to be melodramatic. Dude, have stuff. him like be in a picture and come out. He looks stiff. Come on, no lumber. Also, like really, you yeah, it looks really uncomfortable. Back. Like there was no cushion. Like you need to put you know, a cushion on your thrones. Thank you. I know maybe cushions prevent prana, whatever that is. Like they like prana. I still don't even get also, what that what was. Is prana? Uh, it's like the force or something. Uh, it tasted I like the force. It tasted like soul. It tasted like soul. Just like gets up and peels and stuff. It's like it's too much. You can do that without being like overly Again, that throne looked uncomfortable. He's very strict. He's very sitting there for so long. He had this. Also, they keep using this word like we're gonna something yeah. size your your pony. Also, here's like something I don't understand. But it's not just little things. It's the fact that is, so during the final fight. This fool, the butterfly fool. You could have done this without. He just beats so him up. Blatant. Beats the shit out of him and just stops. Just not gonna get it. Maybe he's he wants to fight them on the more even terms, like quote unquote. But he just stops, the kind of and then immediately, basically, essentially gets killed, gets defeated. And like, if you're that weak, maybe get them while they're down. And they do show that weak. They do show him weakening. Well, that's the thing. Like, wait, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think? It was cool. It was cool. Yeah. It's pretty badass. I thought so. I know. I knew. I'm glad you came. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah, this is a very, uh, supposed to be a very safe for work thing. You can't say stuff like this. is a safe for work thing? This is a Sonic Padge video. This is a Sonic Padge video? This is a Sonic Padge video! This is not safe for work, so I don't care. Like, this is deal a Sonic Padge video. You have to be very clean, very Christian. What do you guys think of Shin Kamen Rider? It's pretty dope. This is going on Sonic Padge. Whoa. Pretty mid. Mid? For my standards, but for people's standards, it was pretty good. It was kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. Uh, we, we a there was a lot of walking. Uh, a lot of walking, a lot of set up shots. You know, yeah, it was actually right. pretty good. Um, it's, it's kind of like Power Ranger Weeaboo <laughs> shit. So, uh, uh, like, he recorded your actual impression. So, uh, what part stood out to you guys the most? Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch it one day. Yeah. We can watch it on Monday, that's the only day it's gonna be showing in the US again. Oh, uh, well, whatever. The only I'll part I like to work. Remember was the blood. That's I was so surprised about the blood. You're surprised about that. Well, because in the, in the episode you had me watch, there was no blood. It was just chilling. I was like, oh, okay. People dying. Legit. Yeah, the bikes are cool. You like the bikes? Oh, yeah, the bikes too, of course. Yeah, motorcycle rider. Yeah, they use a lot of the old sound effects too. Do they? 
Oh yeah, it's like throughout the whole film. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sh- 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 I, I was wondering why the engine or the the rev of the engine didn't yeah, sound like so. Just like a symbol modern. for like being yeah. 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 So like those are real motorcycles, right? Oh, yeah. Aside from the jet part. Uh, they were real motorcycles. All the body panels and stuff you see probably aren't, but you know, it was cool. <laughs> so what about your motorcycle? Is that a real motorcycle? What about my motorcycle? What about your motorcycle? What, what capabilities does it have? Oh, well, I don't have, uh, you know, thrusters in the back or things to blow things up. I can do a wheelie on it, though. Yeah, 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 pretty good. They did that all the And, you know, my helmet doesn't turn me into a, into a mantis hybrid, but... <laughs> It keeps my head safe for the most part. Ever felt like a mantis hybrid before? No, thankfully. <laughs> I felt like half a man before, though. Yeah. Um, Phil, do you want to explain what happened again to the uh, the why there were two writers? You just explain. You already know that. No, no, no. I want to know why they killed off two of their main characters before they had a movie. Two. We have the, well, the lady the and the man. Well, I mean, the main characters killed up all the time. Just okay, the so Rumiko. Rumiko, uh, okay, funny thing about Rumiko, in the manga and original TV show, her role is pretty minor. After 13 episodes, she completely disappears from the show. Well, she was a Japanese woman in Seven yeah. That was just kind of how they wrote them. Yeah, but well, the, she was replaced by like three hot ones in the like the next episode. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that disproves her point. I'm saying that a lot of them were written to basically just like a group of people. And, and similarly, you know, she just kind of suddenly like phases out of the manga in this one she's super important to the movie in the original show and manga Rubiko thinks Hongo killed her dad so it's about building yeah, so you've got to quickly build that trust back they turn that idea of building trust as like a center point of this movie but it's done in a different way Meanwhile, Hongo dying, that is something that's similar that happened in the manga. He actually gets killed by, like, in that manga, the 13 evil writers. Hayato Ichimonji was one of them in the manga. But he saves Hayato, becomes uh, Nigo. Kamen Rider Nigo. Kamen Rider Nigo! You can't say that, Phil. It means second. You can't say that, Phil. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, and so yeah, Hayato, he, or uh, Hongo, he basically dies, but he becomes like they become double. He basically becomes the original double in the manga. That's actually something they adapted into the movie. But a bit, he, later on in the manga, Hay- uh, Hongo reappears, but he's pretty much a full robot except for like his brain. But obviously didn't get that far in the story. What are you filming for, by the way? Oh, my channel, of course. He, just, he, just, like, just, he likes unconsensual. He was recording since we were walking out of the theater. I've noticed it the whole time. No, I'm just now wondering why it's why he's. Doing he's that. I, Putting it on YouTube or something. I don't know. He, he needs cloud. Oh, really? Am I in a YouTube video? I think we. That's why his name is Sonic Cadge yeah. the Cloud Chaser. Lower, lower, lower. Not yeah, like that. Lower. Like, so like. Get the best I'm angle of it. Yeah, I never oh, lost weight. So and it shows on camera too. Damn. Well done. Do you still act at all? Huh? Do you still act at all? No. So does the common writer manga and the live action series suck up the like totally? So. And the manga was actually written afterwards, yeah. so it was so it could be uh, what Shotaro's Ishinomori's actual vision was. Uh, no, no, because like you know, say for kids, originally it's going to be Skullman, a Skullman adaptation, but it was like a symbol of death as a kids show. No way. So yeah, let's just have Goren blood. Well, we got that. Oh, that's that's the, the it's a lot of blood. Yeah, it's called like you some guy in the tree was just painted red. Oh, squids, man. Yeah. But no, no. So like, pretty much the the sp- the man spider story is pretty much one to one in the manga and the TV show. After that, they're similar stories, and then it just pretty much like devolves after that, like to be totally different. Totally different. There's like tropes that show up in the TV show after the manga was over, like the six writers and like Mount Fuji. But uh, like the actual stories that are told are like way more serious and darker in the manga, like Hayato failing to save the kid with leukemia. <laughs> like how did he like did he, the kid fall off like a cliff or did he just die from leukemia? It's all like to save him. basically it's like it's, it's, it's the last chapter of the of the manga. Uh, Hayato he's all like we gotta fight Shocker. They go into the Shocker base in Mount Fuji and he's all like okay I'm gonna grab a Shocker scientist to cure leukemia. Don't worry. Oh, okay. they, they beat the they beat Shocker below the base and like oh no we forgot to grab a scientist. We forgot, oh my. So, okay. so it wasn't like, like why are you turning died. monsters into evil people oh, into evil monsters when you can cure cancer? I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into evil monsters. <laughs> so then, was this movie closer to the? It had 
It, was it, like kind of a mess. it was a combination of both with original um, elements. Obviously, because it has serious elements, it stuck to that tone. The first 13 episodes of the original show were actually darker than, like, until Hayato shows up. So, like, the manga had a pretty similar tone to the original 13 episodes. Yeah, like, you can tell in the personality in this movie. He's like, whoa! Whoa, that guy's strong! He's more, of a, he's more of a traditional shonen protagonist. He's much more green. Let's set our alarms. I get... One thing I noticed, Hongo never says Henshin. Yeah, that is actually uh, a reference to the original show. Hayato is actually the first person to do, to do the pose and to Henshin. Hongo didn't do that until, like, way later in the series. Okay. Yeah, and, like, like in the manga and the original TV show, uh, Hongo needs to be riding or moving around to actually transform. Well, Hayato could just pose and henshin. Hey, you got one of the set pieces of the movie on your shirt. A mountain. Oh, we free that too? Bro. Okay. Alright, let's go. Wait, hold on. He's getting water. We gotta get, we gotta wait for Anthony, then we all gotta, like, henshin together. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> what? What do you want me to Which do? Which one? I'll do it. What are we doing? You just create a henshin pose. Like, I, I do my original Zone Runner henshin pose. What's you the original one? What is it? How does it go? Well, I, I'm holding something. I can't really do it right now. Put the, put the bottle down. The ground's not going to hurt it. I just had a flashback to you. I don't know if you have the footage that still of like, Morph! Neo Classic! Going Jurassic! Yeah, and Max like, yeah. So, that's it for the reviews, but now time for the next video. Thank you very much. Enjoy Shin Kamen Rider coming to America only next Monday, uh, June 5th. So, uh, cool! Stay in Shin! Let's get in the zone! It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> and shit! <laughs> <laughs>